So it's finally stopped raining. We've had about two weeks of straight rain, so it's uh, a little drier. It's actually sunny for a minute. But anyway, I've been able to uh, open up the garage door, get the chop saw out. Um, got the table saw set up as well. Uh, this chicken coop is going to be built out of um, some reclaimed lumber. So I have some 2x4s uh, down here that I got from a shed that was being torn down. And with the help of my wife, we've ripped them into 2x2s. Um, two and I'm cutting them to length on the uh, chop saw. So you can see I've got my lengths figured out. And I'm trying to make the best use out of these 2x4s. Uh, picking spots without knots or uh, holes or anything like that. So I'm cutting them to length and then I'm, I'm marking them with my notes so that I can remember what piece I cut because um, you know, I've done the I've done the calculations to figure out what uh, pieces I want to use but when you actually have the lumber in your hand you have to uh, make some adjustments so that's what I'm doing right now. Here's a partial load of 2x2's uh, two I have them numbered with the component and then also their overall length so that I can make sure I know where they go. And then we have the scraps. Um, the chops out again. So next I'm going to move to the construction of the back wall. Okay, so I'm going to assemble the back wall now. I've labeled the boards uh, number fours with uh, their individual dimensions so that I can uh, piece them all together. Here's how the back wall goes together. It's uh, raining and cold outside so I'm going to assemble this in my garage. I'm going to pre-drill all the holes and then use three inch wood screws to assemble this all. And because of the thickness of the header, I'm going to uh, pre-drill and then also countersink so that I get the three inches of penetration that I want. Well here's the back wall all screwed together. You can see that I countersunk the top screws to get down through the sill plate. And I'm gonna sheath it with uh, plywood inside it out and I'm um, gonna insulate it. So I'm gonna set this aside for now and then uh, move on to the next uh, wall. I'm going to start building the floor by uh, putting the pier blocks down first. Just in a rough dimension, they're going to be uh, four feet apart uh, lengthwise and three feet deep. So I decided to take the saddles out of the pier blocks because I'm going to build the floor first and then move it into its final location. And I just need uh, something that, just a work area that kind of illustrates the uh, dimensions. So I'll get these four by fours. Um, true and plumb to each other and then I'll put the uh, 2 by 3 um, framework that I've already built on top and get them all squared up and then uh, toenail them together. So here you can see the floor stringers sitting on top of the 4 by 4s I'm going to um, toenail them in now before I put the floor sheathing on so that I can uh, come down in from the top and then uh, I'll put the plywood down and then I will uh, probably put the um, vinyl flooring down. So I've attached the floor framing to the 4x4s. On the ends I decided to countersink them because I don't want uh, exposed screw heads with the toenail to uh, kind of mess up my uh, siding. You can see the screw head sticks out just a little bit so I don't crack the board. So now I'm going to put the uh, plywood on top and cut it to size. So here I have my reclaimed piece of plywood. It looks like it's either uh, 5 8 or 3 quarter inch, I'm not exactly sure, but it's definitely thick enough to be um, the floor of a chicken coop. So now I'm going to cut it to length, and then I'm going to um, construct construction adhesive it down and use some uh, drywall screws to hold it in place. So I set up a jig so I can cut a straight line, because unlike many craftsmen, I can't cut a straight line, so I like to use a jig. So what I do is... My circular saw has a one and a half inch offset for the blade, so I just mark my final cut distance and then come back an inch and a half and put another line and then line my uh, straight jig up. I just find a 2x4 that's nice and straight and uh, clamp it down and I'll run it my uh, circular saw against it like a fence. And there you have it. So now I'm going to uh, get out the construction adhesive and 
put some down on top of the 2x3s and then I will glue and screw it. Well here's the completed floor. I've uh, put down a construction adhesive and then uh, screwed it down about every foot since I use a construction adhesive. So now I have a relatively flat surface to build the walls on. Um, it's not leveled right now, it's just sitting on the sitting on the uh, pier blocks just on the ground. So if, if it's not level enough I might throw the um, brackets on it and kind of level it up so I have a better working surface and uh, go from there. Well it took me a couple minutes but I decided I wanted it level so I put the brackets underneath and uh, spent a couple minutes messing with the nuts and getting it all leveled up. It'll change again once these footings move into the permanent location but now I can uh, be confident that my walls will be straight when I uh, construct them on top of this. Well I have the front wall laid out here and I'm glad that I laid it out before I got too far because I found that some of the reclaimed 2x4s that I picked up are actually thicker than an inch and a half. Kind of strange. So I had to uh, make a couple adjustments so that the um, short sections uh, for the window sills uh, actually fit because of the thickness of the 2x4s. So that's kind of odd, but that's what happens when you <laughs> when you get a mishmash of materials. So anyway, I'm thinking about how I want to put this together and I think that I want to actually attach it to the um, put it put it face down on the piece of plywood that's going to be the outside sheeting. I'm going to uh, use construction adhesive on that as well because I want to make it a um, moment frame so a shear wall I mean so I want to uh, really make it rigid because it's there aren't a lot of actual connections so probably gonna call it a night and uh, pick it back up when I have some more free time